Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take Photoshop Elements and make an animated GIF with it. Now if you've never seen one of these before, they look like little movies. Let me go ahead and jump to my finder and show you one of them. This is the one that I created in Photoshop Elements. If I hit the space bar, you can see that it's just a simple countdown of one, two, and three right there. And I did that using different layers. Now you've probably seen these all over the internet and they look like they play little movies. Okay, let's go ahead and start by creating a new file. Let's go to File, New, Blank File. Let's go over some of the parameters here. It says a 6 by 6 inch document, 72 pixels per inch, and it's going to use background layer, and that is black right now. So I'm going to select OK, and there we have our new image file. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to click on our layers palette so that we can see our layers right there because I'm going to use some different layers to make this work. Now I'm going to use my text tool right here and I'm just going to create the same thing that I created before and that's just a number countdown. So if I click on this and I type the number one right there and then click the checkbox and then use the move tool which is this little arrow one right here move that down to about the middle and then if I duplicate this it's an easy way to make new layers of new numbers so I'm gonna go ahead and do a command J and what that's gonna do it's gonna make a copy and I'm gonna do command J again and command J again what we're gonna do is we're gonna make four different layers here so let's go ahead and double click on this one and change that one to a two and then I'm going to move that by clicking on the move tool. I can use my arrow keys right here to kind of center that up or I can go ahead and grab it with this little move tool right there. I'm going to go ahead and double click the next layer. You can see that it highlights the number right here. So if I type in the number three, it changes the number one to a number three. When I'm happy with that, I can click the green checkbox right there or I can click the move tool and it will automatically help me move this number three. Now I'm just moving these all to the center. Let me double click the fourth layer here and type in the number four and then I'm going to click on the move tool and then move this to the center. So as not to go too fast, all I did was I created a layer, a uh, text layer here, put the number one, I duplicated it three times and then when I double click on each one of these it gives you the option to edit and change the numbers there. Okay, once we have all four of these layers created we actually have to merge them with black on each layer. So once again I'm going to go to my background layer and as there are four different layers here I need to duplicate this background layer three times. So let's go ahead and do that. Command J I'm going to do that one, two, three times. Now I need to merge these because each one of these is going to be a separate layer. So if you hold the command or control key down and you click on this layer right here, you can see that these two layers are highlighted in light blue. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click this and we are going to merge these layers. Now of course for some reason it didn't do it because I'm recording and there it is, merge layers. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the number two layer and then we're going to click on the background copy layer here holding down the command or control key depending upon if you have a Mac or a PC. Once again I'm going to right click this and I'm going to merge those layers. Then I'm going to click on the number three layer, hold the command key down, click on the background layer, right click it and then merge these layers and as you can tell the fourth one is going to be the same thing. Click on the number four. Now you notice when I hold the command key down and I click on that one, there is the little no sign right there. And what it's telling me is, is that this layer is locked. Let's go ahead and see what happens when I right click this, merge layers, and there we go. It merged the number four onto my background layer. Now if you want to have these in order, we're going to have to go and we're going to have to readjust these. So let's go ahead and double click my lock right there and unlock that layer. And there it is, it's unlocked. And I'm going to drag this all the way to the top because what it's going to do, your movie's going to play on all these separate layers. It's going to go from one, two, three, and four. Now the next thing we have to do is go to file and we have to go to save for web and what that's going to do is it's going to give us a lot of options over here. Now the one that we really care about is is that we want to make sure that this is under GIF 
A lot of people think it's a GIF, but it is a CompuServe GIF. I'm going to leave this with 256 colors and the dither at 100. Those really don't matter right now. And then I'm going to select the box that says animation, and that is the magic key right there. If you want to see it play, you can go down to the bottom right here, and you can click the next frame, and it will show you all the different frames in your animated GIF. Now the last thing what we want to do here is we want to tell it how much of a delay and whether or not we want this to loop all the way around. So if it goes 1, 2, 3, and 4, do we want it to go back to 1 again? I'm going to select the loop, which says yes, I want that to happen. And I don't want this to happen very fast, so I'm going to select the half a second right there. Now once I'm done with that, I select the OK, and then it's going to ask me what to name it. And I'm going to name it Test. I've saved it on my desktop, so let's go ahead and click Save right there. Now that we're done, I'm going to go to my Finder. And let's go ahead and take a look and see where this is at. There's my test GIF right there. If I go ahead and click the space bar on my Mac, it's going to show you that it is looping all the four layers that we saved there, and it's looping them at a, at a rate of half a second each. Now, of course, you can do this with different things. You can take screen caps or you can take... Uh, print screens of your different movies. You could load up your movie in your computer and play the DVD and then do a shift print screen and bring that into Photoshop and you could put the little pictures. Now I can't do that because of copyright issues but you can put pictures of movies in there and put little speech bubbles and then you could create small movies with this. And that's how you make an animated GIF in Photoshop Elements 10. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, pass the link on to your friends, and subscribe. Cheers!